Hi, I'm Dr. Papia Bhattacharji. In this problem, we have to evaluate this definite integral and we have to use the integration tables in Appendix C. Now, if you look at all the various formulas, try to find one where you have a quotient and you have a square root in the denominator. So, if you notice, there's formula 19, which has this form, is the integral of u over square root of a linear factor, a plus b u, and then this is the formula. And note, in our problem, we have a similar looking function, right? In the denominator, we have a square root, and inside, we have a linear factor. So, we might be able to apply formula 19 to solve this problem. Well, the indefinite integral, and then we have to plug in the limits to evaluate the definite integral. All right, so let's compare the two and see what we can say about a, b, and u. Okay, so note, a should be the constant that's by itself. And here we have one is such a constant. Therefore, a should be one. Now, b is a constant that's attached to the variable. And the variable is x. And what is attached to x? Nothing, that means one is attached to it. So b is one as well. And then the variable u. Look, u is in the numerator, and in the numerator we have x, so u is x as well. And therefore, you have to evaluate du because we have to replace dx by du, and see du is derivative of x is just one, so it's just dx. All right, so we can write x to be u, dx to be du, a is right here, and b is 1 right here, and x is u. So see, it looks exactly like this expression in the left in the formula. And so, we can just apply the formula and write it down here. So what we will have is negative 2 times 2a, and a is 1, so 2 times 1, minus b u, b is 1, and u is just x. Divide the whole thing by 3 times b square, b is 1 again, and then this is multiplied by the square root a plus b u, so 1 plus b times u is just x. Now, we should write plus c if it was uh, an indefinite integral, but this is not. This is just a definite integral. So this is our antiderivative, and then we have to evaluate this at 1 and 0. Okay. Let's simplify this first. So what we have here is negative 2. And inside here you have 2 minus x over 3. So 1 square is 1. Square root 1 plus x. And then evaluate at 1 and 0. So plug in 1 first for x and then we'll plug in 0. So let's see. Negative 2 third 2 minus 1 square root 1 plus 1, and then subtract by plugging in 0 for x. So negative 2 third times 2 minus 0 square root 1 plus 0. Okay, let's try to simplify a little bit. Okay, here you have 2 minus 1 is 1, and here you have square root of 2. So negative 2 square root of 2 over 3, then minus, okay, let's come back here. Uh, first of all, this negative and the negative will actually make it a positive, and then we have 2 times 2, 4 third, and square root of 1 is just 1. So that's it. This is the solution. 
to our definite integral. And we use formula 19 to solve it. Thank you.